It's June in Alberta, and June in Alberta, anyone who's worried about flooding thinks about rain. My name is Evan Friesenhan, and I work at the River Forecast Centre of Alberta Environment and Sustainable Resource Development. The main issue with these rivers, they're beautiful right now, and you can see a nice sunny sky, but as soon as we have uh, thunder clouds start to roll in, and this is typically starting out in the ocean, they come across, they move through Montana, and they come in and they drop a bunch of rain as that storm system comes up and drops along the eastern slopes. All that rain drops uh, in the mountains and foothills, and that rain has to go somewhere, and it goes into our rivers, and then that, that water goes in, and if it's too much for our rivers to handle, it overflows, and we have flooding. Because of the inherent nature of a 24-hour to 48-hour period for amounts of rain, and the issues they have in a meteorological forecast, well then imagine we have to take that data as well as uh, stream flow data that we get in a river, a soil moisture, um, snowpack up in the mountains, all the pieces are brought together to create a forecast. So it's, it's a forecast based on a lot of different uh, scientific pieces of information. I guess we we'll consider ourselves the eyes and ears of the forecasting center. My name is Jack Pickering. I work with uh, the monitoring group of monitoring programs and validation, Alberta Environment and Sustainable Resource Development. We go around taking observations of water levels on uh, stations all across Alberta. And most monitoring stations, of course, are, are housed on the riverbank. There'll be a piece of equipment called a data logger in there, which collects and transmits the information, either via modem or satellite, back to the people in, in head office. We take that information and then we, depending on how bad it is or how good it is, we take that and we communicate it directly to municipalities who may be in danger. Obviously Albertans are very concerned about flooding and, and what they should do when they know that there's a lot of rain or, or flooding might be happening. The important thing to realize is, is you should contact your municipality. They have the best information available to respond to a flood.